just had my favorite theater experience, going to movies with kids. Now, we figured it's Wednesday. It opened early because probably July 4th. Wednesday, second showing, like the 7.30 show. There was a 7 o'clock show. We figured we'll go to the later show. Didn't help. No. Theater was packed. It was packed. We had to sit in like the third row. And like the opening scene, like when there's jumping around, I'm saying, uh oh, oh my God, I can't keep up. I'm so old. <laughs> That's the first thing that ran through my mind is I'm so old. And uh, yeah, it's not my most enjoyable experience uh, going to movies with a lot of people. And especially when they're kids. Yeah. Because you can't get mad at kids. Well, I was getting mad. I was getting mad because some of them were old enough to know better. They were like, they just didn't care. You just said, parents have not taught their kids how to behave in theaters anymore. The kid beside me did not stop talking, having a conversation through the whole movie. And not inside voice. No, no. Just talking like this. The whole, and we mean, the whole movie never stopped talking. And the people in front of us, they had the noisiest, crinkliest bag. And Well, they brought Ruffles potato chips. Into okay. the theater. And they were digging through it the no, whole no. movie. You didn't see what he did. He opened the bag and then said, you know what? I don't like my chips whole. So he crunched it up and then he started punching the bag <laughs> to break it up into little pieces. And and, and parents were talking too. Yeah. Like, it was just it was just not a good movie going experience. No, I think anytime another one comes out, I hope it goes to pay per view right away and I'll just stay at home and watch it. <laughs> and uh yeah i didn't i i i was i just wanted to get out of the theater as fast as possible okay so now that you understand we're grumpy old men that's right okay. how was the movie okay the movie this is part four yeah a aside from the minions movies that's right and uh if you remember the first time uh despicable me came out the other competing animation that year was megamind yeah starring will ferrell well, he is the bad guy in this one. There was a there was a few callbacks in this that I, I don't know if you noticed. Like when the uh, lady was running after the wife and the kids, did you, did you hear the music that was playing? Mm. It was the music from Terminator Two. Dun 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 dun. Oh yeah. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Like it was pretty. Because like, that's what I was thinking of during that. Yeah yeah up. yeah. That's what. The, like it was well done. That that stuff. The callbacks like that were pretty well done. I, I think thought. there were a lot of like a verbal funny things that you you have to think about. Sometimes you need to know French in order to get this joke, and uh, there's a lot of that stuff in it. <laughs> La Mal. Yeah. And the uh, his name is La Mal. The the school was uh, c'est pas bon. Yeah, <laughs> it's Le not good. Bon. <laughs> it's not good. It's the evil school. So this ultimately is uh, is a tale of Gru has to go into hiding, so he goes to a safe house, and then he has to fit in with the neighborhood. And uh, hijinks ensue when the neighbor neighbor girl, little daughter, knows who he is, and is blackmailing him to do a heist. Yeah. Meanwhile, they're all trying to be incognito, while the villain, La Mal, is after them. Mm -hmm. And he's super strong, he's like a cockroach, and he's like armor-plated, and he's after him for revenge, because Gru stole his song in a talent show. <laughs> in the, like the yeah. sixth grade or something like and that. And it just happened to be Boy George, who I just did a story on in my... That he's performing on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, what the heck is going on? Also, Boy George is in my head all the time but you know what we saw pixar's last movie there um inside out. inside out 2 and what we said in that one was it's a very emotional movie well done it's a beautiful movie it was just long and no action and wasn't entertaining that way for kids i thought mm -hmm. still made a billion dollars but this is the exact opposite it still has emotion in it. It does it? Well, somewhat with the baby. But it has visual things for the kids. Oh, yeah. This is... The kids are going to love this. Kids are going to love this movie. And even the adult... The adult behind me, right from the get-go joke, laughing was everything. laughing his head off <laughs> at every... Oh, 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 like this all the way through. He was, he was enjoying himself so immensely. 
And I said, you know what? I can see. I even chuckled a few times during the film. Yeah, it was good. It was like if you're in for like just kooky animated adventure, this was a very good movie. Yeah, fits the bill. The music went along perfect with what they were doing. Except the, the, they had the, the this closing song, and they chose an '80s song to to <laughs> well, close off because it was a duo. And like honestly, that was not the right song to do. Like the words were right, but just didn't have the good feel to it. No. It wasn't as catchy as some of the other ones they've ended the movies with. Yeah. But still, I mean, that's the end of the movie. The, the rest of the movie, I thought, did really well. It was fine. I, I do have some complaints. I, okay. I, criticisms. Like? I thought the female characters in the movie were just bleh. Like, the wife and uh, the the baddies Sophie female... Varga. Huh? Sophie Varga. Sophia Vergara. Uh, Ver we, what, yeah, yeah, that's the actress. From okay. Modern Family. Okay, yeah. but Valentina in this one, uh, I thought they were just wallpaper. Like, they didn't have any good lines. It's like, all all the, the, the guy characters, they're doing funny things, the minions doing funny things, they, but they were just normal. Like, why was the Valentina even there? Just to... Just to smile and... <laughs> She was the side character. Yeah, but... She wasn't the main character. Boring. Like, throwaway. Well, if you think of the actress's characters, she's always a side character. Well, <laughs> like that okay, in but, the movie. Well, the actress always plays bad parts, so they but, put a bad part in the but movie. She, but don't forget, the last Despicable Me, or Minions movie, there was... The main villain was an evil villain. was a female villain. This time, it's a guy in this one. They're just they just flip flop it back and forth. What, so the, the last movie wasn't it the the disco guy? I'm thinking of the one where it is um, Sandra Bullock character. It might have been a Minions film. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But she was the main villain. But either way, I like I I didn't look at the characters. It, it, like the main two people are Gru and the kids, right? And then you have the the main villain. And uh, considering I knew nothing about the main villain, I was entertained by them. I thought he was kooky enough. They run out of gas, things like this. And he's just, his whole thing is he's angry about being replaced in a talent contest for a Boy George contest. And he's willing to wreak havoc on the world because of it. Yeah, well, I, I think the situation was kind of kooky, but I thought, I, I, I didn't enjoy him. I thought they could have been funnier. Oh. I think kids are going to like it. Yes. I think it was scary enough for a kid it, without being terrifying. Mm -hmm. Right? Lots of action. Ugh. Everything everything is happening every second of, of the movie. Something is happening. Yeah. Even when they're introducing the the sensei, when the girls, girls go to karate school, he's over the top crazy and it was entertaining. I was just watching it going, okay, something's going to happen to the guy. I don't know what, but he's entertaining as hell to watch. And parents are going to get a laugh out of the cringe when he's trying to ingratiate himself with the neighbors. Yeah. Uh, so the adults have something to watch too. It's it's just, I enjoyed it. Even even though Inside Out 2 was, like, it was a much better quality movie. This one was so much more enjoyable. I enjoyed, yeah. For a, a other than the crowd. Ugh. I enjoyed the movie itself. Yeah. And guess what? I will probably watch this at some point in the future. Uh, I don't know if I will. And like, I won't turn it off. Yeah. Like, if I'm waiting for, looking for something to watch on Netflix at night, and this is there, when it just can't come up, I'd probably turn it on. Maybe, maybe. But um, I can't say that about most movies right now. No. You know, in a lot. So, uh, what are you going to give it? Oh. Take the crowd out of it. Yeah, that's difficult, though, I because know. the experience of watching it was frustrating. Uh, I'll give it a seven and a half. Yeah, uh, yeah, seven and a half. And you know, if I'm, if I'm thinking of it as a parent with bringing young children, I'd say this is an eight, eight and a half. I think the kids are really going to enjoy this This movie. will be a hit, yeah. Yeah. I think it'll well over a billion dollars. Oh, I don't know. I oh, don't know. I, I do. I think it'll, in July, summertime, I think it's going to break the billion dollar mark. Okay. Let, let's see. Because uh, it was crowded for a Wednesday night, second showing, sold out.